If Hitler was in heaven, would you still want to go? If God forgave him for his sins, would you want to know? What if Hussein and Stalin, all of history's worst villains, were sitting down to eat at the table as God's children? If Muslims go to heaven, if he doesn't reject them, if while we're demonizing them, God loves and respects them, would you be happy that they're saved? Would you fully accept them? Or would you wish you would have saved anybody except them? If you were dancing up there, just so happy to be saved in, you find out that you're dancing right next to a gay man, the one you saw in church and it had made you feel uneasy. You wanted him to leave, you didn't want your children seeing. So you labeled him a sinner and you judged him for the sin he lived with. But you and I both know that you're a sinner too and you're just sinning different. See, our God is love and mercy, but it's only for the in crowd. And if you can't get down with that, then you can get out. And yet how can we really say that God is mercy and love and be so quick to throw these labels on the people he should judge? What if we don't know just how big God's forgiveness is? What if everyone who's ever done you wrong is there in bliss? Would you be mad that they aren't cast out into the burning sea? Feeling like you've got more of a right to this eternity? Atheists don't go to heaven, but you wouldn't think it's bad if you got up there and found out that your non-believing dad did. Because you love him very much, and so you'd love him there with you. So is it too hard to imagine that his father loves him too? If a man who hurt your family had made it through the gates, would it be all love in heaven, or would you hold on to hate? Because if he was up in heaven, and I'm not saying that he is, but it would mean that he's forgiven. So then could you forgive? If we honor God as judge, then judging is for him to do. So as a Christian, please don't act like it's a privilege he's given you and pick and choose who is righteous and worthy of his grace. Because no man knows his heart just as no man's seen his face. And I don't believe that my God wants for anyone to die. So do the labels that we make really change us in his eyes? If God wants to save us all, and that's why Jesus paid that cost, but still he couldn't save them, then wouldn't that mean that God lost?